everybody, welcome to Brickball. This is an update video for every single LEGO Kai minifigure ever made. That is 39 minifigs updated to the year 2018. In this collection, we are going to be going through all of these Kais, what sets they came out in, and how much they are worth. This is an update video from the previous time we went through the Kai collection. Last time there were 23 figs, this time we total 39 different versions of Kai. And I'm also going to show you guys how the prices for some of these figures may have changed throughout the years. Jumping right in, this is the very first original Kai. He came out back in 2011 and appeared in three different sets, one poly bag, and several different hardcover books. By all accounts, his detailing is actually quite simple, and the cowl piece used on his head is actually the original ninja cowl piece used from a different theme entirely. And recently, his price has gone up just a little bit. He now rests at $8. Next up is Kai DX, or Dragon Suit Kai. He's among some of the most rare versions of any of these ninja figs, and first appeared in the Fire Temple set, plus a couple other very large ones. It makes them pretty darn hard to get your hands on, so he's a little bit more expensive. He is $11, and what makes him unique is, of course, the Dragon Suit. This detailing is actually quite similar to a lot of the other ninjas from this line, though he does have a fire-breathing print for the dragon because, you know, it's Kai. Then, jumping up to the year 2012, there are four new versions of Kai. We're gonna jump into Kendo Kai first. He came from the Spinner Battle Set plus a training set. The detailing for his body is the same as the original, and what makes him exclusive is, of course, the Kendo armor that comes attached to his body. His price did not change from years before, so he's still set at $8, which is kind of interesting. And now we have Kai with the ZX armor. He appeared in Kai's Blade Cycle, as well as two other sets. And already, I would say the art design team has made improvements upon the original. The dark red arms match better with the dark red printing by the shoulders, and the mold for his cowl has now updated for the first time. The gold on the cowl matches up well with the shoulder armor, though I'm not a big fan of how that shoulder armor looks. But all in all, I would say this is a pretty solid fig coming in at five bucks, and then an almost identical version of this Kai came out in the Rattlecopter set, so he's got this weird looking sort of steampunk jetpack with all of those pieces attached to him. He's roughly 11 or 12 bucks. And then this is the very unique version of the character from 2012. This is NRG Kai. He came out in a weapon pack set, and this is very similar to all the other NRG versions of the ninjas, though he is fire, and you can see the fire kind of burning through his clothes. NRG Kai is $10, and let's jump up to the year 2013. Here is is what a lot of people call Kimono Kai. He was from the final battle. He appeared in Kai's Fire Mech set. And I'd say most agree this is a pretty good looking fig for the character. His price has increased a bit since the last time we made a video about him. He is now $8 if you wanted to get him brand new from Bricklink. And then 2014 brings us the first rebooted Kai. This is a very, very common version of the figure. He's got a little bit of flame detailing that goes along the front. Personally, I don't think this actually looks uh, particularly great. And I'm also not a fan of the single face mask cowl. Regardless, he appeared in the Kai Fighter set as well as the X1 Ninja Charger, and right now he sells for around four bucks brand new. Now 2015 rolls around, LEGO has realized Ninjago is a super awesome asset and they really went kind of full charge, making a ton of different versions of all of the ninjas. First up is Sleeveless Kai, commonly known as Tournament Kai. He's been in a ton of sets, the first one being the Jungle Trap and also Dojo Showdown. His price has increased to three bucks, but he's still basically the cheapest Kai you can get. He's got a different hairpiece. And now we are looking at another rebooted Kai. The only difference now is that he's got a cowl piece and also the gold armor. His only release was in a foil pack, though none of the pieces on him are actually exclusive. He is $6, and up next is Kneepads Kai, or Zukin Kai is actually his official name. This detailing for the body is very similar to that of pretty much all the other ninjas that came out at this same time. He's got a special uh, symbol that's printed onto his cowl and a slightly different weapon put into the detailing for the straps on his body. And personally, I don't think the brown contrasts well with the red. This version of Kai is $4. He actually came out in the team pack uh, for Ninjago. While this same version of Kai with a scabbard on his back appeared in the Anaconda Crusher set and the Ninja DBX set. He is five bucks. 
And now we've moved on to Kai in the Deep Stone Armor. His body is totally black, similar to that of Kimono Kai, though things have changed quite a bit. The cowl is now molded in black with red. And for the most part, I think it's actually not too bad of a look for the character. He appeared in the Ronin Rex set. He is $3. And then this same version of Kai, just with armor on his back, appeared in the City of Sticks, Attack of the Moro Dragon, and Temple of Air Jitsu. He is four bucks just with that extra bit of armor. And then we're moving on to a kind of strange Kai. He's similar to the NRG Kai, just with the weird exploding effect, though I don't think he looks as good. This is the Air Jitsu Kai. His body is molded in black. He's got the symbol on his chest. It just, I don't know, just doesn't look that good in my personal opinion. His appearance was in the Air Jitsu Kai flyer set, and he sells for five bucks. The last of the Kais from 2015 is, I think, something that people like quite a lot. This is Kai rebooted, but with stone armor. He he appeared in the minifigure gift set Target exclusive from this year. And you can see that the armor has been molded in that kind of uh, darker gunmetal color. And he's got a bit more shiny reflective armor printing that goes along the front of the body. And in general, it just looks pretty darn good. He is $4. And now let's jump up to the year 2016. As you can see, there were a bunch of new guys for this year. Let's knock out some of the sort of repeats or ones that aren't necessarily new. This is Kai from from a foil pack. He's got the same knee pads. He's just like the rest of the Zukin Kais, though he's got uh, just different pieces that came on his head. He's got hair instead of a special cowl piece, essentially. And right now he sells for five bucks. There's also a Junior's Kai. He's got one of the earlier cowl pieces that is basically, I call him the extra pieces version of the ninja. He's got the rebooted torso print and sells for $3. Now let's move on to a new version of Kai. And I would say probably my least favorite version of any of the ninjas from this uh, from this set of releases. This is Skybound Kai, and his sets were the Ninja Bike Chase set as well as Kai's Mini Dragon Polybag. In general, I just don't think that tornado detailing looks good at all, so I'm not really picking on Kai here. I just think it looks bad on all the ninjas. This version of him is $3. He also came out in the Cryptarium Prison Breakout and Misfortune's Keep, where he has a golden scabbard on his back. He's still just three bucks, and here is the last Kai for 2016. He's essentially an updated version to the original printing that we saw back in 2011, though this time now he's got a little bit more dark red and just extra details all together. His cowl is dark red and regular red. His arms are dark red. He appeared in the Ultra Stealth Raider set and sells for $4. It's now time to jump up to the year 2017 where there are 11 new figures, yes, including all the guys from the Lego Ninjago movie, but let's start with the order in which guys were released within the year roughly and then we'll jump into the Lego Ninjago movie guys at the end. This is Hands of Time Kai. Personally I think this art direction is one of the best versions of any of the Kai figs and just in general the Hands of Time ninjas are pretty awesome. This guy looks really good in the dark red. He appeared in the Vermilion attack set sells for three bucks and then this version of Hands of Time Kai uh, he's also a bit more powered up. He's got a special print for his head. Appeared in Dragon's Forge as well as a foil pack and a Ultimate Ninja training manual. He is $4.00. Here's also another Kai with that updated print that I showed you just a second earlier. This time he's got golden armor on his shoulders. This time around he appeared in another foil pack. That's also a $4 fig. And right before we jump into all of the movie figures, this is the most rare or at least the most expensive version of any of the Kai minifigures out there. He is a little over $14 if you wanted to get him brand new. This is the golden power Kai. And he came in one of those Bricktober 2017 minifigure packs. Solid, solid print detailing all throughout the body. My personal favorite touch on this guy is definitely that subtle fire effect that you can see along the edge of the kimono there. It kind of looks like the rebooted look, but just way better. And what can I say? Who doesn't like getting a golden ninja? I think he's a really cool looking fig. And now let's check out all of the Lego Ninjago movie characters. People generally don't like them or they do like them. I think people are somewhat split on the look for these characters. But going by set number, this is the very first version of Kai that we got from the movie. I think the black and red doesn't look too bad for this particular version of the guy. The diamond 
detailing on the legs is nice in its own sense, and this extremely common version of the character is one of the cheapest of all time. He's two bucks, he appeared in the Spinjitzu training set as well as the Water Strider and two others. And now here is our second most standard version of the guy. He's got a scabbard and the ridiculous Kai hairpiece. I actually kind of like this hairpiece a lot. It's very anime-esque, but definitely can be useful for lots of different uh, situations. He appeared in the Master Falls set as well as Piranha Attack. He's also $2. And now we've got to the standard Kai without a scabbard appearing in the Fire Mech set. That's probably so he could actually fit into the cockpit is my guess, two bucks. And then the scabbard changes colors for this Kai. So he's technically different. He appeared in the Temple of the Ultimate Ultimate Weapon, also $2. This is one of my personal favorite prints from any of the Lego Ninjago movie characters just because he looks so similar to what maybe Kaneda could look like from Akira. This guy appeared in the Ninjago City set, so being exclusive to that, he is a little bit more collectible, being seven bucks, but he's got some great detailing that makes up the red suit. And for the Lego Ninjago movie, they decided to come back around and make uh, Kendo versions of the characters. This Kendo Kai was actually from the collectible minifigure series, and the print detailing for the mask I think is particularly good in this case. He is a $4 figure and we also got a training Kai. So he's in kind of his white training clothes from the Movie Maker set as well as Kai's Dojo Poly Bag set. That's a $7 fig, believe it or not. And now we've jumped up to the year 2018. So far there are six new versions of this guy that came out for this year. This is from the Sons of Garmadon line, and the first bit of detailing we have here is for Kai that came out in that spinner set. The Spinjitzu Master set that has him uh, in a black suit with a decent amount of fire detailing on the front. Personally, I think the best look for this guy is actually the red hands contrasting with the rest of the black body, and this Kai is a $7 fig. Here is your more standard version of the Sons of Garmadon Kai. He's got a lot of crisscross kind of wrapping and detailing in that subtle dark red kind of mesh underneath the normal wraps for his body. It's not a bad look for this character. He appeared in the Katana V11 set, sells for five bucks, and then this is maybe one of the better Kais out there. This is from the Hunted line. I just call him the, the tactical Kai just because of the detailing that we have here. I like the straps that go straight up over the shoulders. And he's also got highly detailed tactical printing on the legs. He is from the Dragon Master set, and I'm not entirely sure what his price is. He's actually not listed right now, as far as I can tell. This is Kai from the Destiny's Wing set, so he's got one sleeve missing because it's been kind of torn off. The other side's got a bit of chain mail there, and also just subtle toe printing. The cowl has once again changed colors. They are now inverted from what you saw from the Lego Ninjago movie. And this Kai sells for six bucks, while a slightly different version of him is here from the Firstborn set. He's got a scabbard now, which technically makes him different. He's actually less expensive, interestingly enough, being less than six bucks. And then the scabbard changes colors for Kai in the Dragon Pit set. And once again, these prices reflect that of the different sets that they come out in, kind of making them more or less collectible. So he is a set $7 figure and guess what we just finished all of the Kai minifigures for 2018 or everything up to 2018. Thanks for sticking around, everybody. Personally, I like this Kai collection maybe a little bit more than some of the other ninjas. I just think they look so good in the red against the black. Just as a display, I think Kai looks better than some of the other ninjas. And let me know what kinds of collection videos you'd like to see us do in the future. If you enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Hey everybody, wanted to pop in really quick, let you guys know that we've got a Lego web store, www.brickvault.toys, where we sell the PDF step-by-step -step instructions for some incredibly awesome Lego blocks. It's definitely worth checking out. The revenue from the web store helps support us here at the channel, as well as the designers that create these amazing Lego builds. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Remember, that's www.brickvault.toys, and uh, we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.